This is Hitachi's self-optimizing manufacturing plant that relies on automation to increase productivity. People, systems, robots, and processes employed to achieve this goal rely upon the effectiveness of the applications and the underlying 5G network from Ericsson. Hitachi, in conjunction with Georgia Tech, has created a solution for these collaborative robots, or cobots, to increase productivity by assisting a human operator to share the workload. It is connected to a high-speed, reliable, and secure 5G network and configured via a remote control client application to ensure that the interaction between the robot and the human operator is safe and that the robot follows real-time guidance through this interactivity. Firstly, Ericsson's network exposure function is triggered by API-1 to onboard cobots into the 5G network wirelessly. This onboarding progress can be visualized real-time through the client application. The API-2 is triggered using Ericsson's Identity Manager module to authorize and authenticate the user to communicate with the cobot in a controlled and secure way. The robot human control engine at each production cell computes desired quality of service needs depending upon the current or future task requirements. Accordingly, 5G Mech assigns network slices of varying quality of service levels to each robot human machine cell. In this demo, the production cell 3 requires high degrees of precision with 60 millisecond latency over a 5G network during task 5 and task 11 where tight collaboration is required between human and robotic arm. The robotic arm through the camera follows human movement to do the task. In this task, the human is required to hold the materials and wait for the robot to secure them with four screws each. However, the network in its current state cannot provide URLLC for all connected devices, including hundreds of robots working simultaneously while sending large capacity sensor data from multiple production cells in the factory. Therefore, the task is affected for not having the desired QoS. For such scenarios, the user of the application pre-configures the required QoS in the client application. Before the task starts, the client application will request the change of QoS via the Ericsson Network Exposure function using the API 3. The QoS will be granted for the defined period of that task in Production Cell 3. This allows the task to happen smoothly with changed QoS triggered automatically for the duration of the task. Once the task is finished, the QoS will automatically return to its default setting. This demo shows how an application in a manufacturing plant can guide collaborative robots to assist human operators with a high degree of precision over a 5G network and allowing on-demand quality of services control enabled by network exposure.